Hi everybody, welcome back to Sacred Body Studio. My name is Fabi. This is a series of classes to regain mobility from zero. Three months ago, I had a surgery and I'm just recovering my strength, my mobility. So this is fantastic if you are suffering from chronic pain or you have very limited mobility, this is going to be fantastic for you. So let's start. Ready? So let's go. Move your hands at the back of your knees and slowly we're just going to lie down. Make sure that your head is on the ground. And just from here, we're going to take a couple of breaths. So move your hands onto your tummy, your lower tummy. Feel the breath, feel the air in and out through your nose. Relax your shoulders and your face. Breathe in deep. And out. And again, in. Anna. And one more. Anna. Give your breath calm and relax. Remember that in yoga, we breathe in and out through the nose. In Pilates, it's the opposite. But um, for me, I recommend it to breathe in and out through the nose because you keep your airways moisturized. But if it still is not there, don't worry. You can still breathe out your mouth. It's good. So let's start. So from here, we're going to just move our arms at the back of the head, one on the top of the other one. Lift the head with your hands. Open your elbows. Feel the contraction of your tummy. The stretch in your neck. Let's hold here for four breaths. Breathe in. Anna, let's go for three. Anna, and let's go two. And out, and only one more. Release. Now today we're gonna use a block, a yoga block if you have it. It does just help us to keep our legs together and to keep it in the same uh, width. So from here, we're going to push the heels on the mat and we're going to just slide our feet. Maybe at the beginning, your feet are going to be kind of no sliding, but then after, you're going to get used to. We extend the legs as far as we don't pop out, out the block and then we're going to drag the legs in, moving them from the tummy. We don't really fully extend the legs because we have the block. So let's go. Hands on your hips, breathe in. Breathe out, slide your feet gently on the ground. No, no fully length the legs. And inhale, drag the legs back again. Heels close to your buttocks. And inhale, slide. And inhale, come back. And again, exhale. Inhale, try to drag from your tummy. Let's go for four, and back. Let's go for three. You can use the socks. You can use socks so you can slide more your feet. That's fine. Let's go three more. Three, and back. Now let's go for two. <laughs> back they can stop there so with the socks is better and just one more and bend again fantastic we're gonna take off our block we're gonna lift the feet and squeeze the knees towards your tummy onto reclining child pose and we're just gonna rest here for four breaths this time move your face towards the right side so we can release the neck and we hold here for four breaths breathe in and uh, let's go for the three feeling the release in the neck and out and let's go two uh, and just one more. And back to center. Let's move towards to the other side. We hold four breaths. Breathe in. And breathe out. Relax your shoulders. Let's go for three. Anna. And let's go two. Ah. 
and just one more. Back to center, move your hands on your knees. We're going to open the knees, push them away, then move them together and drag them close. So we're going to do a circle with your knees in opposite direction just to release our hips. Let's go for four and three and two, only one. Great. Let's change the direction. Let's go for four and three and two, just one more. Get back to center, drop your feet back onto the ground. Move your hands under the head. Let's do reclining twist. This is fantastic. Remember, it feels so good in our back. Move your face opposite direction of your legs. Push your elbows gently down. Let the right leg completely rest on the ground. Don't worry for the left. It doesn't go too low. Let's hold here for breath. Breathe in. And uh, let's go for the three. Out. Let's go two, out, and just one more, and back to center, drop our legs other side, and we hold for breath, breathe in, and let's go for the three, and out. Let's go to uh, and just one more and back to the starting pose. We're gonna extend the right arm if you want on over your head and you are gonna roll completely onto the side of your body. Let the arm rest on the floor and your head rest on the arm. We're going to move the knees just at the hips level, front hand at the front of the belly, on the top hand at the front of the belly. We're going to go to the clamp. Here it's important that we don't open too much the knees, that the hips move backwards. So as far as the knees keep stack, okay, so it's going to be a little open, not too much. So take a deep breath, engage your tummy, inhale and exhale, lift the knee, keep the feet together and don't push the hip backwards. And let's keep going. Let's go for 10. 10 and back, 9 and back, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and last. Now we're going to bend the back leg, we're going to push our thigh backwards. And we hold here for breath. Breathe in. And let's go for a three. And out. And let's go two. And just one more. Now from here, we're going to move the leg, straight leg here. Your fingertips on the front, we're going to breathe in breathe out, we flex the foot and we kick forward and back and let's go for nine and back eight and back seven and back six and back five and back four and back three back two back just one more, and back, bend your knee, catch your foot, if you cannot catch your foot, just up, use a belt or a towel, then push your pelvis forward, we hold for breath, breathe in, and breathe out, feeling the stretch in your thigh, let's go for the three, and two, and only one, we release, we push our body up, all the way up. And then we're gonna go all the way to stretch the side. Let's hold for breath. Breathe in. 
out. Let's go for three. And two, make sure that your chest is facing forward and you don't drop the arm to the front. Release everybody. Now we swing the legs to the other side and we're just gonna like that. Relax on your arm, relax here, bend your knees, knees in front of the hips, feet together, breathe in. Rest, rest the head on the on the arm or you want to put the hand like this, just the neck sometimes can be uncomfortable. So whatever is better for you. So we go 10 and close, 9 and close, 8 and close, 7 close, 6 close, 5 close, 4 close, 3 close, two, close, just one more, and close. Hold the foot and we stretch, push the pelvis forward to stretch your thigh. We hold four breath. Breathe in. If you cannot catch your foot, take a towel. Let's go for three, and two, and just one more. We extend the leg, Straight leg beside your hip, breathe in and breathe out, flex and kick forward. And we just go for nine, the, the other leg is bent. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and last. Bend your leg, push your pelvis forward to stretch your thigh. We hold four breath. Breathe in. And out. Let's go for the three. And out. Two. And just one more. Now release, push your body up. And we're just going to stretch towards to the side. This arm. All facing down, lift the chest and reach sideways. Let's hold for four, and a three, two, and just one more. That's good, back to center, well done. Move your legs to the front. Mm -hmm. You're gonna lean backwards, the elbows on the floor, mm -hmm. and we're gonna just open to the butterfly and close. Let's go nine and eight and seven. You can put your feet back onto the wall. Six. So when you open the legs, remember that the feet might be away, or you can keep them closer. But when you close, the feet are gonna be kind of funny. So it's better to keep it flat. Open, they are separate, and then come back. So let's just start together. Sorry about that. Ready? And get your tummy, lift your chest, and we go 10, back, 9, back, 8, back, 7, and 6, and 5, and 4, and 3, and 2, and last. Now, keep the legs together, push your hands up, move, hug the legs here, make sure that you don't overuse your arms. Try to push the ground with your feet, the one you want to stand up, and then we just rest the hands and we let the head drop as far as possible without overusing the arms. Try to use your tummy, the sensation of pull the legs in. Let's hold four breaths. Breathe in. Um, Let's go for three, and out, and let's go two, out, and just one more, and out. Move your hands at the back, fingers pointing to the side, elbows bent, and using your hands with the elbows bent to lift your chest. Now push your feet on the ground to stretch your tummy here, chest up, shoulders down. Let's hold for four. Anna, let's go for the three, chest up, chest up, straight your back, just two, only one, 
Good. How you feel? Good. Fantastic. We're going to extend the legs a little bit more. We're going to hug the knees. It doesn't matter if we don't extend the legs. We just keep the tummy close to the thighs. Okay? So we're going to lean, hug the legs, and we're just going to hug here. Let the head drop. No pain, no forcing. Relax your shoulder. Let's go for four. And three. And two. And your last one. And raise your torso. Oh, I feel really good. <laughs> well done. Now we're gonna come back again. So we are gonna move our elbows back onto the ground. And this time we're gonna keep the legs bent. We're gonna drop one leg to the side, knee to the side, and slide the foot, internally rotate, and drag it in. And we repeat, side, and slide, rotate, and give you deep breath. Breathe in, breathe out, breathe in, breathe out. Now we do the opposite. We go straight, open, and slide. Be careful here. I normally do with my socks on, to be honest, because it's easy to slide. So I recommend it to use your socks because as you can see, it takes work, you know, and doesn't slide too much. So use your socks. And let's go. The last one. Fantastic. Other leg. Drop. Slide. In. And come back. And let's go for the three. Good. And two. Don't forget your deep breath. Engage your tummy. And just one more. Now change a slide, open, come back, a slide, open, come back. Let's go two, just for that mobility in the hips. And last one, great. Use one hand to push you up, then the other one. Fantastic, we're going to move on to all fours. And from all fours, we keep the hips above the knees, shoulders above you, hands, index fingers pointing forward, spread your fingers, and your fingers kind of grip in the ground to don't let the weight collapse on your wrist. Let's go on to cat and cow. Ready? Breath in. We tuck the pelvis in, then the low, lower back curve, then the neck, and move chin to chest. Then exhale, move the pelvis out, arching your back, lift your chest. And we keep going. Inhale, cat stretch. Exhale, cow stretch. Let's go for two. Anna. Let's go one more. Anna. Back onto neutral, let's go on to poppy, hips above your knees, move your hands forward, as far as you can go, don't move the pelvis forward or backwards, keep it above your knees, and then we move the chest down as far as it feels good for us. Keep pressing with your hands, to don't let the weight collapse, even if your elbows reach the ground, keep pressing with your hands, extending your arms. Let's hold for four breaths, breathe in, ah. Let's go for three. Uh, let's go for two. Uh, only one more. Push yourself back onto all fours. We sit back as far as you can move. If you cannot go all the way onto your heels, as far as good for you. We're going to move our palms together, bend your elbows, and move the hands just behind the head. We hold for breath. Breathe in. Out. Let's go. Three. And two. And only one. Now, well done. It feels really good. How you feel? Let me know in the comments. Remember that I always read and answer your comments. Well done, everybody. Move your arms up. Crossing legs if it's comfy for you. Push your palms away. 
We can stretch towards this side. And back, other side. Oh, one more time, towards to the side. And back, other side. Move your hands behind your head, elbows in, only your head drop, take a deep breath. Now lift your head. Well done, everybody. Thank you for joining me. Remember that every week we have a new video, but also you can repeat this routine if you feel like you want to do a little bit more. And also our my routines can be match and mix. So don't worry, you have time and you say, I want to work more. You just can put another video and they can link together. Well done. Thank you for joining me. Remember to subscribe, like, share to help us to grow. And we see you in the next video. Thank you for coming.